Hello, you are welcome. How to find the value of x in this problem? From what is given, which is 27 raised to the power x equals to the root of 3 raised to the power root x. From here, we can write 27 here as 3 raised to the power 3. So here becomes 3 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power x, now equals to the root of 3 raised to the power root x. Then from here, applying the law of indices here, this power can open this, and then this multiply we have 3 raised to the power 3x, now equals to here, from when we have nth root of a, and which can be written as a raised to the power 1 over n. So we apply this here, and this becomes 3 raised to the power root x. Then, now raised to the power 1 over 3. Then, also from here, this power also multiplies from here. And this becomes 3 raised to the power x, 3 raised to the power 3x, now equals to 3 raised to the power root x over 3. And from there, we have same base from here. Then when we equate the power, this becomes 3x now equals to root x over 3. Then next, from here, we cross multiply. This is 3x over 1. And when we cross multiply 3x times 3 here, that's 9x. Now equals to root x times 1, that's root x. Then next, we can take root x to this side, and here we have 9x now minus root x, now equals to 0 from here. Now we can write x as same thing as root x times root x to give us x. So let's replace x here as root x times root x, so we have 9 times root x, then times root x, minus root x, now equals to 0 from here. Then next, we have root x common, so when we factor that out, that will be root x in the bracket. What is left here will be 9 root x, then what will be left here will be 1, then equals to 0 from here. Then next, we have Either root x equals to 0 or we have 9 root x minus 1 equals to 0. Then from here, we can square both sides here. So we have root x square equals to 0 square and square cancel square root here. Here we mean x which is equal to 0 square is 0. So we have x equals to 0 on this side. Then from here, we have, let's take 1 to this side. This becomes 9 root x, now equals to 1. And also from here, we square both sides. Squaring this side, also square this side. And the square here, we affect 9 and also root x, so we have 9 square times root x square, then equals to 1. 1 square is still 1. Then here, 9 square is 9 times 9, which is 81. Then square here cancel square root, we are left with x, now equals to 1. To get x here, we divide both sides by 81. And here, 81 cancel out. And we have x now equals to 1 over 81. So here this gives us the second value of x, which is 1 over 81. Now to verify from what we have, let's check to see if this satisfies the equation given. The first we have x equals to 0. 
substituting x equal to 0 here, this becomes 27 raised to power 0 equal to cube root of 3 raised to power root 0 from here. Then next, from here, anything raised to power 0, when we have a raised to power 0, that will be 1. So it implies here that 27 raised to power 0 here, we have 1. Now equals to here, this is cube root of 3 raised to power root 0 is 0 here. And 3 raised to power 0 here is also 1. So we have 1 equals to cube root of 1. And cube root of 1 is also 1. So we have 1 equals to 1. So for x equals to 0, the left hand side equals to the right hand side. So it implies that x equals to 0 satisfies this given problem. And also, let's check for the second solution, which is x equals to 1 over 81. Now here, substituting this in what we have, which is 27 raised to power x equals to cube root of 3 raised to power root x. Now from here, we have 27 raised to power 1 over 81. Now, is this is equal to cube root of 3 raised to power root 1 over 81. From here, now let's check if this is a equal. Now we can change 27 as 3 raised to power 3, then which is raised to power 1 over 81. And here, this gives us 3 raised to power 1 over 9 inside here because square root of 1 is 1, square root of 81 is 9. So we can say this is cube root of 3 raised to power 1 over 9. And we should recall that when we have nth root of a, when we have nth root of a, the same thing as a raised to power 1 over 9. So now, here we can write this as this power we multiply, we have 3 raised to power 3 times 1 over 81. Then equals to here, we have 3 raised to power 1 over 9. Then raised to power 1 over 3. Then from here, we have this power, and then multiply 3 here 1. We have 3 here 27. Then this will give us 1 over 27 left. So we have 3 raised to power 1 over 27. Now equals to here, this also multiplies. And then times 3 here, that's 27. So we have 3 raised to power 1 over 27. So left hand side equals to the right hand side as well. Then also we conclude here that x equals to 1 over 81 also satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Turn your notification there on. Thank you. See you in the next class. Bye for now.